Hi, my name is Vincent, and today I want to show you two methods for constructing a 45 degree angle through a specific point. So we're starting off with this line segment here, and we have point A. So the first thing we want to do, if we follow these steps, is to extend our line segment. Now what you'll do is use a ruler, a straight edge of some sort, to just extend your line, so we have space to construct a perpendicular line through point A. So to construct our perpendicular line, we set the compass on point A, and we swing an arc to the right and left of point A so that it hits our original line segment twice. Now the reason why we extended the line is so that it could hit on the left side too, um, just in case your point A is at the beginning of your line segment. So from here, what we want to do is move the compass to the intersection points we just made, and now we're going to have to extend it a bit because that's the only way we're going to generate another intersection point to make our perpendicular line. So we swing an arc from the first point and we move it to the second point, swing another arc so that we could connect point A to this intersection of arcs. So we use a straight edge here to draw a straight line from point A through the intersection of arcs. And now what we just did is construct a 90 degree angle. So to close this out, what we want to do is we're going to bisect this 90 degree angle because if we cut a 90 degree angle in half, we'll have a 45 degree angle. So now we set the compass at point A and we swing an arc to hit one part of the angle and we repeat this process above to hit the other line segment that builds our right angle. So with these new intersection points, we're going to set the compass here and we swing an arc in the inside space here from the first intersection point and we repeat this process from the other uh, intersection point so that we have two intersecting arcs. Now, the last thing we need to do now is connect point A to this intersection of the red arcs. And if we label everything, let's say we call this point C and we call this point down here uh, point B, then we just constructed angle CAB and the measure of angle CAB is 45 degrees. So now for option two, what we want to do for this option is follow the sequence of steps. So we introduce another point, let's call it point B, and we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector of, point, uh, of line segment AB. So we set the compass to a little bit more than halfway from A to B, and we swing an arc above, and we swing an arc below, and we repeat this process from point B. So let's just get this set here. So we swing it above, and we have one intersection point, and now we have our second. And now what we're, we're going to do is we're going to connect these intersections with a straight line. Now, if, uh, you use, if you're using an actual ruler, uh, to the best of your ability, you want these to match up. So it would be about at this location here. Now, the reason why it's not 100% accurate is because point B might have fell slightly off the line, but this is the idea. Okay, now to close this out, what we want to do is we're going to use the concept that in a isosceles right triangle, the two base angles are 45 degrees. So what we're going to do is measure the length of this segment here, uh, and we'll give it a name. We'll call this point. Uh, we'll call this point C. And what we want to do is we're going to swing the arc so that we know that we used, and we'll use a different color, that we measured the length of AC, and we're going to move this to point C here, and we're going to swing the same arc above. So now if we name this point up here, let's say we name it point, point D, then now all we have to do to close out this construction is connect point A to point D. So we connect this here. Now because we constructed a 90 degree angle here, and the length of side AC is equal to the length of side DC. That tells us that the measure of angle DAC is equal to 45 degrees. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this 
construction video. If you found it helpful, please click like and subscribe below. And if you have any requests, please uh, leave a request in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.